Hey guys. <coughs> I swear it's not Corona. <laughs> Just a tickle in my throat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hey, my name is Tamika and we get into all things fashion, makeup, and uh, beauty on this channel. So if that is something, oh, but hashtag affordable, can't forget that part. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload new videos. And in today's video, we are just gonna be hopping on another challenge that's been floating around the YouTubes, you know, this YouTube space. And that is the One Dip Makeup Challenge. Now, I'm not really sure who was the first person to come up with this challenge, because like with everything, once it goes viral, everyone's doing it and it's just really like who you are uh, subscribed to or maybe like someone related to the channel that you're subscribed to it pops up in your feed and then that's all you see so <laughs> that's kind of what happened I just kind of went down the rabbit hole of watching all these challenge videos so the first person that I saw do this challenge was Nikki Tutorials and then I saw James Charles and so on and so forth so I'm not really sure of who the exact person who started this challenge but if you guys know definitely put their name down below because I'd love to give them credit and yeah let's just hop right into it so basically like I said this is the one dip makeup challenge yes <laughs> just what it says any product that you go into use you can only use one dip so one dip for your brows one dip of foundation one dip for your eyeshadow it's sounding very uh challenging <laughs> i guess that's why it's a challenge huh? yeah so um i'm already sensing a problem because if you guys are not new to my channel you know that for my brows i go in with a pencil and how am i supposed to use one dip of a pencil i don't know so uh I gotta think about this here so hopefully this all comes together decently in the end um i don't know if i have that much faith in myself <laughs> one dip oh i got something in my teeth like, we're not gonna do this again the rare beauty comes in hand there we go nothing's in the teeth now oh by the way <laughs> do you see the red hair you know very uh fall like i'm trying to get into the fall spirit even though you know it's November now so we're thinking Christmas don't sue me but I think Christmas from November 1st November 1st is automatically Christmas I don't care um, but yeah this is my fall hair for the time being actually this is my fall YouTube hair because if I go to work I'm not wearing this it's a wig okay <laughs> um, but yeah I thought this was this would be it'd be cool to just change it up every once in a while my puff has been going strong the last few videos so I feel like it's time to just change it up a little bit okay but anyway I'm stalling because I don't know what to do with my brows so I think I <laughs> oh wait a minute I know something was off I didn't like my uh, candle in the background so let's just go ahead and light let's just go ahead and light this candle before you know we start this which is my Forever Mood by Jackie Ina. This is the Matcha Business candle. <sighs> Smells so good. Let me tell you what the notes are. Let me tell you what the notes are. <clears throat> I don't know what the notes are. It doesn't say. And light this candle. There we go. Now we're ready. All right. So I think I kind of figure out what I'm going to do for my brows. I'm going to go in with this Essence Make Me Brow. It's just an eyebrow gel mascara. So we're, our brows are not going to be the best today. I just, I've come to terms with it. Our brows are just not going to be the best today because I need this. So I'm going to go in and just scoop a whole lot. Hopefully that's a whole lot. I mean, okay. I'm kind of just using one side and then switching it over to the other side and then I'm just going in with the spoolie just to kind of shape them a little bit oh that's rough all right so here are the 
here are the brows so far they're looking very gray and just they need a little bit more love but that's all we could do one dip into the brow product all right now we're going to go in and conceal the brows with concealer and one dip usually i don't need more than one dip because i don't be doing that much but we're gonna put one dip on the back of my hand i feel like that's way too much but it will be enough that's not the problem. This isn't the problem. <laughs> the problem is I can only dip into this once. Whoa, I forgot about that. All right. That's just gonna have to do for now. <laughs> so, so far here are the brows that I'm not loving, not feeling, no. All right, so for primer, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. That's it. Close that back up and then just put it in the areas, which I feel like that one dip was <laughs> more than enough, more than enough. So I'm just might be looking a little casket ready for this foundation. <laughs> oh no, I haven't used this in a while. I forgot that a little goes a long way. Oh, <laughs> for foundation, what I want to go in with is, is the foundation that I love so much, which is this NARS foundation. However, it's not a pump, so I can't really use one dip of this. If I like squeeze it out, I'm gonna get more more than enough that I need, right? I'm not even gonna try because I know that's gonna happen. And that's semi not fair. So I'm gonna find a foundation that has a pump where I can only use one dip or one pump. I think we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Super Stay Foundation. It's full coverage and it's honestly an awesome foundation. I haven't used this in a while because I've been purchasing so many new foundations. And I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation brush to spread everything out. This brush I've had for over a year. Yeah, this will be over a year that I've had this brush and I have never used it. I actually got this brush from one of the doctors that I work with. Um, but yeah, I have just, I don't know why, I just never use it. So we're gonna use it today. All right, so there's one pump. There's one pump of the foundation. Let's just go, let's just go. Oh no, I'm scared. Okay. Oh. I forgot that this foundation is very, uh, ooh, this color. <laughs> People who only go in with one pump, a foundation is lying to you. I don't think I've ever gone in with one pump of a foundation and it's just clicking. You now I look almost the same color as my sweatshirt. Love that for me. So this was one pump of the foundation very much so red right now but that's okay we're gonna go in with our concealer and brighten things up i can't do one pump of foundation i thought i really could i thought this wouldn't be that hard for me i guess it is all right so for concealer i'm gonna go in with my rare beauty concealer and this is in the shade 440c so hopefully it's, it's gonna be a little bit cooler so hopefully it'll balance out this <laughs> redness that i have going on 
We're gonna go in with one dip. Hopefully this gives you a lot. Okay, wait. Let's be mindful before we just pull this out. Okay. Go ahead in with a sponge and or blend it out. happening on my nose right here but that is not cool okay okay so this concealer definitely went in and brightened up very nicely to kind of like even out the redness that was happening so we are thankful for that so I'm gonna go in with the Fancy Beauty setting powder. This is in the shade Banana. And, oh wait, let's make sure we have enough in here. A generous dip in here. Now, if you know me, oh my God, this is so much powder and I can't do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tap some on my hand. So that's still my one dip. It's just on my hand. Okay. Now that is <laughs> a lot more powder than I'm used to and a lot more powder than I would love to see on my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on my eyes as well just to prepare us for the eyeshadow. contour so for contour so I like to go in and put it on my hand because it warms up the product and it makes it go on a lot smoother For my all over face powder, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Hello, hello, I'm right here, thank you. The Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is in the shade Deep. That's way too much. I'm absolutely gonna tap off the excess. My face actually looks kind of flawless. Why does it look like that? I don't know, but I'll take it. What do we, okay, I think we should go into, we're gonna save the rest of the face for a little bit later. Then I'm going to go into some eyeshadow now. For eyeshadow today, we're gonna go into Jaclyn's palette. This is volume two. This baby is giving us color and we wanna just, I don't know, be a little bit more daring. We're gonna go in and we're gonna go bold. So we're just gonna go for Tipsy Girl right here, which is a super bright pink and 
Jesus help me. Should I or should I go in with Lolly Mama? Hmm. No. I changed my mind. We're gonna go with Lolly Mama. And I'm just gonna dip into the palette and just oh man. I am wow, first of all. I don't love this for my face, my, my face makeup that I just did. This is gonna be hard. All right, but let's just go ahead and, and do it. Okay, let's tap off some because this is gonna be tragic. All right, going in with Lolly Mama on both eyes. Got some color going on here. So that's all we're getting. It looks like that's all we're getting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Drama Queen. Twirl my brush right up in here. Oh. And we're just going to place that right in the center. That's it. <laughs> All right, so one dip. <laughs> Just kind of like roll that around in here. And for blush, I'm gonna go into this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. This is Peachy Love. Got all these peachy colors in here. And I'm gonna go into all of them. Just like. For my highlighter today, I'm gonna go into this uh, Moira highlighting palette. We're gonna go into this one right here. We're gonna go in with setting spray. And this is the continuing mist from Morphe. So this is gonna kinda help me out a little bit, I hope. One spray. Definitely could've got this side a little bit more. It's too late now. For the lips, I'm gonna go into this e.l.f. Uh, lip palette, and I am going to go into, I'm gonna go in with this light nude color right here, and just go ahead and And then finally, we're gonna go into mascara and put that on. Okay. 
Oh, but what I forgot to do, which we can't really forget to do these type of things, is inner corner. For the inner corner of the eyes, we're gonna go into this light shadow right here. Yeah. Okay, so here is the final look for this one dip challenge. <laughs> Definitely let me know how you guys thought I did down below. I actually think everything looks okay. I love how this look turned out very fresh and fun and just really light. <laughs> it could only be light, but I mean, yeah, I really like the look. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. How do you think I did at this challenge? But well, this was very challenging to say the least. I thought it was not gonna be that challenging, but turns out it actually was. The only thing that I don't like is my brows. Ugh. They are sad. They are looking very sad. Not a fan of those, but like I said, I wasn't a fan from the beginning. But what could you do? One dip challenge, there you have it and this is the look. Okay guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me to the end of this video. If you like this challenge, definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you guys know of any other challenges that you'd like me to try out, definitely comment some down below. I'd love to do more challenges like this on this channel. Thanks once again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join this little but growing family and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.